Hey, what's going on, y'all? Back in the building, man. Hey, um, when I was driving today, right? Um, like I'm always thinking, so I'm always thinking of new topics to to put together, and I was thinking about the time, like when I had my dealings with 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 smoking weed and stuff like that, right? Um, and I started smoking when I was when I was real young too, like probably like. 13, 14, I started smoking weed, right? So, um, it was a it was a point to where I had to smoke, you know, even not that long ago, like just last year before I had my, like, af actually after I had my awakening, right, when I was still trying to find out what, what happened to me, like I was smoking, I was buying like whole ounces at a time, right? I was buying ounces at a time to smoke. And it was also a point where um, it was a point where I started growing my own weed, you know, once I, once I, um, took a break from driving truck after my son was born, uh, uh, I got, um, I just, I was just like, you know what, I'm about to stay home for a little while, I'm about to get an apartment for a little bit, you know, just take a break and, you know, so I can be with my son and stuff like that, right? So, in the midst of that, I started growing my own weed, I started, I started growing my own weed, and um, at, at this time, like, I wasn't into the Bible yet. Like, I was, like the, for the people that know, like, I just been in the truth. I, I just been awakened since last year of August, right? So I didn't really know the Bible yet. Um, but the Ruach was very strong in me. So, like, my convictions would be, like, ten times over because I didn't know the scriptures yet. I didn't know the word yet. So he, w he was confiscating that with the, with the conviction in my spirit. Cause I, I didn't I didn't know the word, so he would let me know. He, the only way he could let me know is him convicting me through the Holy Spirit. So one time I was when I was growing my, my weed, right? Like, bro, like not not just one time, but like it'll be times where like I'll just have my chair and I'll just be I'll just be sitting at the tent. I'll just be sit just sitting at the tent with the um, with the tent open, just looking at all my plants. I had like about twelve plants growing at all at one time, all all different strains, right? I just I just sit there and just look at it because this is something I wanted to do all my life, yo. I always wanted to have my own plants and grow my own stuff, and I I finally got a chance to do it, right? Um, but it, I, I remember it was it was this one particular day, man. Oh. Uh, and it kept happening repetitively, man. Like each each day I would do this, this would happen. Like I'll be sitting there and I will feel the conviction. I didn't know what I didn't know what idolatry was. Uh I didn't I didn't know what, what these types of things was. I didn't I didn't know I didn't know that was a sin. I like I said, I was fresh, like I was just a baby. I didn't even really know the Bible too much yet. I don't even think I was reading the Bible yet at that time. And uh, I was just sitting there, and I, I was convicted, bro. Like, he just convicted the heck out of me, man. And he was letting me know, like, what you doing? This is, he didn't, I don't think he told me this was idolatry, but I just knew it was wrong. Like, I was worshiping it. Um, and, and that's exactly what I was doing. I was worshiping it. Like, I will sit there for, like, an hour just, just looking at it. I just kept feeling it like day after day like I'll keep doing it and I was just like man yo this gotta stop you know this was this was probably like between I'll say the month the months of December to maybe March April around that time oh um, and like it, it came it came a time that it came a time where I actually, I had to stop just sitting there worshiping these plants. I just said, forget it. I can't, I can't do it more because I was being convicted. So I, um, I eventually stopped doing that. And at this time, I'm still smoking weed and stuff like that. All throughout that time, I'm still smoking weed and stuff. But as far as like, like sitting there watching, looking at these plants like that, idolatry, I had to stop it, bro. Because I, I was convicted. I felt it, bro. Conviction is real. Once you receive the real Hakodesh, the Holy Spirit, you you feel conviction in a in a totally different way. If you're not being convicted, 
that means you're not doing something right, and that means you may not have the, the real how to bear fruit. It ain't no may. You don't have the real. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, if you're not being convicted anytime you sin or you're doing something wrong, you don't have the Holy Spirit. If you're not being chastised by the Father, you don't have the Holy Spirit. Um, and if you're one of those people, if you're watching this, that means you have to repent. You got to turn your life around and turn turn away from sin, and you need deliverance. Um, that's for another video too. I need to do a video on deliverance. I already did a video on um, how to receive the Holy Spirit. I should do a video on um, deliverance as well. Make sure somebody um, put in the comments too. Um, make sure you do a video on deliverance so I won't forget y'all. Cause I be forgetting. But but yeah, man. Um, so yeah, so they're in the conviction of the the idolatry and stuff like that. Um, and then I, after my plants was done, I started selling it and stuff like that. And I was smoking it too. But then I, I told myself, because I like, Yahuwah was letting me know this is wrong. Um, he was letting me know that you're not sober minded. You're not sober minded when you smoke. And I, and I wasn't. I wasn't sober minded when I smoked. When I, even when I look back on it, and even when it was happening, I could feel that I wasn't sober minded. You know, you lose, you really lose the consciousness of, of your. Of, of your of yourself of your spirit and I, and I felt it you know so um I told myself like bro after, after this like I'm I'm selling all my stuff and I sold I sold all my weed my weed growing equipment that was like over a thousand dollars worth of stuff y'all oh yeah six minutes I'm gonna try to make this video like like ten minutes you know but um yo um so I sold I sold all that stuff bro like it was nothing people was asking me why are you selling this stuff and I I told them, you know, it was it was a couple people that asked me, like the people that was buying my stuff from off of, off of up and stuff. They, they was asking me why are you selling this stuff, and I told them. I let them know exactly why I was selling it, you know. And um, and then not not long after that, I stopped smoking weed. Period. After that, um, and it, it and it was nothing. I, it seemed like I almost needed weed at that time too. I almost like needed it. Yeah. Because like, like when I was coming into this truth, like it can be hard sometimes, bro. It can be hard. On um, the Bible says, for for much for much wisdom is much grief, and for much um, knowledge is much sorrows. And that's what was going on with me, bro. Even until this day, but I cope with it di differently now because um, I learned so much more. But like like then, like I was I was smoking and drinking. Like I was yo, like for real, like cause it, this life get hard, bro. Like coming into this truth is not easy, bro. Coming into this truth is not easy at all. That's one thing I noticed early, bro. Coming into this truth is not easy. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely started smoke. I was smoking and drinking. And then I remember that one time I was smoking and drinking at the same time. This was probably like between like January, March, April, around that time. Like I, I literally felt a, 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 um, entities or an entity coming over me. I felt it. And I felt that... Uh, I was losing consciousness of myself and um, something other than me was taking over me. I felt it, bro. And I, after that day, I was like, yeah, this got to stop. This has to stop. And, um, not long after that, though, uh, I was like, okay, I'm about to start driving truck again. So I stopped smoking. Um, and then after, after that, bro, I, ain't, I haven't smoked since. I haven't smoked for like, you know, um, he took that away from me. He took it away from me. Um, yeah, after, after that, I, ain't, I haven't smoked ever since. Um, and even around that same time, I was drinking liquor. I was still drinking liquor. I, I cried out to him. I cried out to y'all, and I told him to take it away from me because I see, I see what it does. You know, they call liquor spirits for a reason. So I told him to take it away from me, and he did. I haven't drunk drank liquor since then. Um, but yeah, man, I just wanted to uh, put it out real quick, let y'all know that yeah, I used to be a pothead. <laughs> I just wanted to let y'all know that real quick. Um, anyway, y'all like this video. If y'all, if anybody got any clarity from this video, make sure y'all like, share this video, cause it's it's weed. Smoking weed is a is a big thing in this um uh, in this life, especially when you first get into the truth. And, like a lot of us were smoking weed before we got in the truth you know and it's, it's people to this day people that want to get in the truth but they don't know how this is where it starts at stuff like this this is where it starts at we have to 
we have to stay sober minded because Satan is like a roaring lion seeking, seeking someone to devour. So he's always lurking to, to try to find a, a, a soft spot in our, in our armor, y'all. Y'all gotta understand this. But uh, anyways, man, if y'all haven't subscribed yet, make sure y'all subscribe. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later.